Okay, so let's let's make a mortise and tenon joint today. Um, we're gonna we're gonna use a fairly uh, specialized tool. This this thing from Veritas. Oh, it sounds like a commercial, isn't it? A tenon cutter. We've got one that's three quarters of an inch, and so we can chuck that in our drill and. We can cut our three-quarter inch. Tenon comes out just the right size, exactly three-quarters of an inch. Um, went a little bit off-center, but you sort of have to live with that. You've got um, solid bamboo that works in the best. Uh, the, the hollow bamboo, it tends to follow off to the one side and, and not work very well at all. Then our next step is, let's do the mortise. Not the sharpest bit, it still works. And then you get the mortise to fit into the tenon, I mean the tenon to fit into the mortise. You can decide how much of it you want to keep. So we're going to go to there, we can cut off about that much. Chamfer the tip just a little bit so it'll fit into the hole well enough. Holding the knife against the body so it's not really doing the thing, it's not moving. You're not worried about uh, where it's going to end up when you slip. Ideally, you would do the, um, the tenon, you would do dry, a piece of dry bamboo, and the, and the mortise, you would do in a piece of wet bamboo. So dry, you mean that it's been out to dry for several days? It or would be... How do you know it's dry? dry to about 12% uh, moisture content, the usual um, ambient moisture level in your area. So that's pretty nice and tight. Given the choice, you would want the, the piece going in to bear on the end grain of the piece it's going into, and to have this side here not be touching, so that it tends not to be wanting to split it. So given the choice, you would put the, the widest part of this slightly oval-shaped piece of bamboo um, on the end just think, try not to split it. That's what you're generally after. Then, we want to put a little pin to hold it there. What we like are these tapered bits for doing a, a little pin. The 
reason we like the tapered bit is because you can do a, a very straight pin and still have it um, grab. So what I mean by that is that um, you're putting a square peg in a round hole. And you can you can kind of let the uh, let the corners get worn off when it goes in the hole, but because it's it's straight and the hole is tapered, you know that at some point you're gonna you're gonna bottom out into the bottom of the hole, and it'll hold there. So we can keep ourselves on target by just sharpening the point a little bit. And then again, you can see that one side may be a little bit wider than the other. The strongest fiber is going to be the outside of the bamboo. You can decide that if that looks a little bit wider, let's make that go along the grain so that it tends not to be wanting to split it. Now you've got something that's really, really down in there tight. You know, there's just, there's no movement to this. Amazingly strong. There you go. Cut.